in our next video in Science, Technology, and Society. And we're still in our chapter in the nano world. And today in this video, we're going to talk about the types of microscopes used in the nanoscience and the nanotechnology. Okay, so what are these things for us to see in at the scale of 1 nanometer to 100 nanometers? So first up is, of course, the electron microscope, the ever uh, popular electron microscope. So this microscope is this one, as you can see. Um, this is a microscope that uses a beam of accelerated electrons as a source of illumination so that we can see through it. So they use um, electrons as a source of illumination. So in 1930, the German engineers Ernst Roska and Max Noll built the first electron microscope. So these are one of the microscopes so that we can see in the nanoscale in the nano world. Okay, electron microscope. Second is the atomic force microscope. So this is one atomic force microscope over here. This is a type of high resolution scanning probe microscope that has a resolution that can measure in fractions of a nanometer. Okay, so it can measure in fractions of a nanometer, meaning we it can see even more depth. Okay, even more depth. Um, who invented these? These were this is invented um, in 1986 by two or by one rather by one Nobel Prize winner winner sorry one Nobel Prize winner Gerd Wenig alongside with his colleagues Calvin Quaid and Christoph Gerber. So these are the ones, um, the three guys who created the atomic force microscope or pioneered them. Lastly, but not the um, not the least, okay, we have this cunning tunneling microscope, the one that um, uses the the probe, the probing, okay, in the first part of our videos. So this is an instrument for imaging surfaces at atomic level. Okay, so we are imaging surfaces here at atomic levels. This is one example of a scanning tunneling scanning tunneling microscope. Um, its development in 1981, okay, earned its inventors Gerd Benig, okay, the also one who created the atomic force microscope, uh, Henrik Rohrer. Um, they were both working but I am at IBM at Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, they earned the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1986. Um, uh, after uh, getting this or inventing this scanning tunneling microscope. So again, we have three, the um, electron microscope, the atomic force microscope, and then the scanning tunneling microscope. So this is a short video. Um, this is the end of the types of microscope used in, used in the nanoscience and nanotechnology. In the next part, um, is going, which is going to be quite long, um, these are just some remarks in nanotechnology in which we need to um, take note. Um, also some applications of it um, in the Philippines, advantages, disadvantages, and some some connections or benefits or concerns with certain with certain uh, with certain um, certain fields. Okay, so that's it. Um, very short, um, but I hope you learned something. Again, we have three electron microscope, atomic force microscope, and scanning tunneling microscope. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like and also subscribe. So thank you very much.